Hi, I'm Justin Emerson, and this is my entry into the Moog Circuit Bending Contest 2012. Uh, I'm a little late to the game, so I've only got about a couple days to work on this project. Uh, but I've chosen the Akai S20 sampler. I bought this way back in 97 when it was brand new for about $600. Um, you could find them for probably under 100 now. Uh, it's got a disk drive for storing samples and has 16 sample pads and it has MIDI uh, in, out, and through for the control. So I think we're going to be able to do some cool stuff with this. Alright, so I think we're going to just uh, open up this baby and uh, start poking around classic circuit bending style uh, you know just taking a piece of wire and making uh, point to point connections on the circuit board uh, I've already uh, poked around in here a little bit and I know that there is some good stuff on the memory chip and in this surrounding area so once I have all the interesting points documented then the next step will be trying to think of uh, a good interface to um, to work with them all. Um, so uh, let's get started. Alright, now I've had some time to uh, play around with the connections I've found. I've got about 20 connections coming out to this breadboard so I can experiment with them. And now it's time to start thinking about an interface. Um, since I've limited on time, I've just got stuff lying around. I have a piece of a keyboard here for buttons, which is good for uh, stuff like this you just need uh, need a few push buttons uh, I've got these little boxes for uh, toggle switches three position and two position uh, they might come in handy but I think I have other plans for these so I'm gonna put those aside but I think this is the winner here. Uh, this is a joystick from Nintendo. It's got a four position joystick, four buttons, and two toggle switches. And I had it wired up to these uh, RCA plugs for uh, triggering other things. But uh, I think I'm going to ditch this cable and uh, open this up and use this for the buttons.
So here we got our uh, four directional momentary switches. Nice and clicky. And this is the board for the buttons. And I've already uh, cut the traces to isolate the uh, pads. Time to get wiring. All right, I've got my bend interface mostly completed. I uh, still need to maybe extend this wire a little bit so I can fit this on top of the uh, sampler. I've got this uh, four position rotary switch that I installed here. And uh, that gives you four different sets of bends for the joystick. Um, and then the other buttons are just wired up to uh, individual bends. But uh, I wanted to show you what I got so far. So I've got a familiar sample loaded up. Also have this other uh, sample loaded. Uh -huh. 